Well, this has been long delay, but got a box of stuff. Got this box of Trackmaster One Thomas stuff from a thrift store a few weeks ago. I would have uploaded this a few weeks ago, but I got well lazy. But we got some pieces in here. Like we got a tunnel piece. We got another Shake Shake bridge, like the one I got almost five years ago, and some pieces of that set. We got another piece of something that's dirty. I gotta wash that. Ugh. Got a Thomas controller. Still works even though the Thomas that it no longer is with is not present. Another piece. Looks like we got pieces of that one mountain pack set thing. I remember these used to link together in these be little set thing. Oh, yeah. And we also got a Maithwaite station. And we got various other track pieces. Oh, and here's the station building for that one piece. See? Now it's complete. More track pieces. More track pieces. And I guess this one's piece is definitely. Got this random piece of, I don't know what it goes to. More pieces. Oh, that was very interesting. You can tell because we got the little sign here. Let's look, get that fit in. Also got more track pieces, and this is actually the last of the track pieces. And then what do we have left inside the box? Another piece of plastic, and we have our trains. We got uh, Trackmaster Dennis. And then we also have a, it doesn't work. We got a trolley that works, I'll be up pretty slowly. I don't think he can work for Trackmaster 2. He's got Thomas. 2012-2010 area Thomas. And then the Shake Shake Bridge set. And then a fuel tanker. And a blue truck. And some sort of random red car. Looks like it does go for Thomas. Wait. Is that? Deco pack. I don't know what that's for. Anyways, it is roll on the track master track with these. So wait, that's about it. This is the whole bundle as a whole. Thanks for watching this quick video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos soon. And I'm going to get to some cool stuff because i got some, some pretty cool things ahead that I want to show off. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, I've cleaned up my loot from... The $10 box, but I gotta show you something. Do we all remember a special called The Adventure Get Begins that came out earlier this year? Well, I found this pack of the Whispering Woods expansion pack at Walmart for $9.97 in the air clearance section. It's a Walmart exclusive, and as you can see, it's got the hills and the cool shaking action. Might as well take her out and test her out. I don't have a knife, but I got a f nail file that I can run through here and yep there we go we got it open I'm pretty sure this will be very easy to assemble but I'm going to do this off camera alright so we got our pieces out time to assemble it it's pretty hard to assemble this with just one hand 
so work with me. Okay, got that. Now it's time to put in the HP pieces. Three pieces. Looks like any old piece can go in any old spot. Also got little junctions that we're gonna fit in. Let's try an engine on this. Maybe let's try probably somebody. Okay. I'll be back with the character. Alright, so I've grabbed Thomas, let's run him on here. It's like, that's all he does. He just runs through and the trees just seem to shake around. Still a pretty cool idea. It's decent but effective. But I can tell you one thing that I'm excited for is that I'm excited for the Solar Legend of the Lost Treasure set where Thomas, you know, spins down like this and then there's also the Volcano stuff. Oh yeah, and I did see Sword of Legend Lost Treasure, I forgot to mention, and I liked it. I mean, there was some un some cruelty towards Thomas, which I feel like, in a way, he deserved, but in a way, he didn't deserve. But, don't expect a review over the movie from me, but I'll just tell you that I liked it. And of course, the song was one of the best parts of the movie, where you actually got the small railway engines scene. And the movie was pretty cool. And speaking of small rail engines, I'm going to throw another little thing. Got Take and Play Mike with what well, I found at Toys R Us and decided to pick up. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing that I got him since I had a take along mic from about 10 years ago that I got in a set. Got in a garage set lot a few years back. So, let's open Mike up. I'll tell you one thing about Mike is that he is very, very, very tiny, but it does make sense since he is a small rail engine. He does look pretty cool. I mean, he's inaccurately portrayed a Fort 060, and it's pretty ridiculous that it's taking plays gone down by the smart magnets, which is pretty stupid. Uh, well, it's because of standardization, and yeah. Mike. Oh yeah, note you can no longer see in the cab. I don't get why take along, well take and play with Mattel had to screw up take and play. I mean, what was wrong with it? The uniqueness is cool, not sucky. Think guys! Think! Oh yeah, and about you Mattel, I forgot to mention why are you no longer paying your buffers? That's so cheap and stupid. Quality, guys. Quality. But, as you can see, I've got the take along mic. Alongside the compare with the take and play, and as you can see, there's very substantial differences, like completely different shape altogether. But, despite the stupid magnets and the lack of buffer detail on take and play mic and the lack of paint cylinders I honestly say I prefer the take and play mic just because of his size he's like a lot more authentic to what he should be okay, and guys whenever I find check Mr. Mike and check Mr. Ryan well check Mr. 2.0 I'll get him but anyways thanks for watching my little video guys about the combining things. I'm sorry I've been pretty lazy recently. That's also things been going on, so until the next time you guys see me. Oh yeah, and take and play the brass thing we did a whole lot better. Until next time. I got one thing to say and that is goodbye and Sora Legend Lost Treasure was great.